Now let's begin adding data to the project. Categories are the top level of the data hierarchy. Categories can represent tangible items like doors, windows, rooms and furniture, or intangible items like punch lists and work orders. The design template already includes several categories commonly used by architects. Click the plus sign beside the categories option to create a new category. Give the category a name, then click Create Category. Select the new category in the left hand navigation panel, and now you can begin adding elements to your category. Elements are the individual items about which you want to track data. Click the plus sign at the bottom of the screen to create a new element. Name the element, then click the Create Element button. At first your element will be empty, but you can now begin to create fields which will eventually contain the data collected for each element. Click Add a field to get started. For this example, I'll start with a date field and name it Date of Inspection. I can choose to add a description for this field and choose a color for the title bar. I'll just hit Save Field for now. I can add additional fields by clicking the plus sign at the bottom of this window. I'll also create a person field which will let me pick from a list of the other team members who have joined this project. Once I've created fields, I have the option to rearrange them by using this icon or to delete them by clicking the trash can to the right of that field. When you're done creating fields, click the X in the upper right hand corner. The design template includes several elements with fields to give you examples of the various field types. We encourage you to experiment with the different field types to find the options which work best for your project. You can always delete a field by clicking the Edit Fields button and clicking the trash can beside each field. You can also delete an element by clicking the three dots icon in the element card 